Micro needles are arrays of tiny needles that painlessly penetrate the stratum corneum of the skin, allowing delivery of molecules that would otherwise not be possible to deliver by this route. Importantly, the type of micro needles that we're working on are not simple metal or silicon materials. They're made from special types of polymeric materials that will either take up fluid and swell to form a continuous unblockable conduit from the external environment to the dermal microcirculation, allowing continuous drug delivery over many days. But importantly, they will also allow pickup of skin interstitial fluid along with drugs or endogenous substances like glucose, for example, that could be present there. The other design is a soluble microneedle system where upon insertion into skin, the microneedle will dissolve in skin interstitial fluid. And this means that we could rapidly deliver a drug substance or we could deliver a vaccine into the skin. The importance of vaccine delivery to the skin in particular is that the skin is a very potent immunostimulatory organ. There are special types of cells in our skin called dendritic cells and Langerhans cells and if you deliver a vaccine to those cells using a dissolvable microneedle for example then what happens is those cells will take the antigen to the draining lymph node and produce an immune response. So a lot of the new drugs that are being produced are very large peptide and protein drugs. The difficulty is that we can't take these molecules orally. So for example, if we were able to take insulin as a tablet, then diabetics wouldn't need to inject themselves. One way of, of delivering them apart from injections is to bypass the barrier of the skin. And we can do that very neatly using microneedle arrays. So what we're doing now is taking sophisticated new medicines out of the hands of skilled practitioners in the hospital environment and putting them into the hands of ordinary people in their own homes. Another application of our microneedle technology is extraction of skin interstitial fluid. And there are a number of important applications of the technology here. So one good example might be in premature neonates. Because these babies are typically quite ill, they're usually on numerous drug substances. And because their organs aren't fully developed, then their ability to clear these drug substances from their body can often be very different to a fully grown adult. This means that they need continuous monitoring for their blood concentrations of these drugs. These babies have very, very low blood volumes and their bodies are very delicate. So this means that we can't take as many samples of blood as we would like and sticking a needle into them can cause pain, scarring and severe bruising. The microneedles can be painlessly inserted into the skin without drawing blood. And what this would do then would be allow us to continuously monitor the drug content in the, the blood of these babies and so improve their treatment overall. So I'm confident that um, microneedle technology will have a big role to play both in drug delivery and in monitoring as we move forwards.